Hello and welcome to the installation video for Faerun Forgotten Realms for CK2. This is the Dungeons and Dragons mod for Crusader Kings 2 and it brings all of the well-known places that you would expect from other games such as Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale and Neverwinter into one singular map with Crusader Kings mechanics put on top of it. It also has additional features which bring in some D&D stuff like you can be classes, you can play as kobolds, you can play as trolls, you can play as dragons. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this. So, the first step to installing it is you have to download it. To download it, you go to the link in the description below, and this will bring you to this page, which should be roughly similar to what you see in front of you. Then you scroll down and you can go to Files. As you can see, this is being updated constantly. It was last updated eight hours ago. So you want to choose the top option because it will have the most features and the most bugs fixed in it. The current version is 0.3.3. .3. Click on that and it'll bring you to this page. And then you click Download Now and you save the file to wherever you need it. Once you have downloaded the mod, you should have something fairly similar to what we have here. Now this is a 7-zip file. This means that you'll need 7-zip to unzip the file. If you do not know what that is, it's outside the scope of this video, but there is an installation video and a download link in the description below for 7-zip. Once you've downloaded it, or if you already had it, you can then right-click this file, go to 7-zip, extract files, and then just extract it in whichever folder you have it in. Once it's finished, you should end up with this new folder called Faerun 1, and inside that will be the files that we need to continue. Once the file is finished unzipping, you should end up with a folder much like this one. Click into it, and you should see that you have one folder and one file. These are what the mod needs to actually run in Crusader Kings 2. Once you've done that, you want to locate this. This is C, Users, whatever your username is, Documents, Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 2, Mod. This is not the Crusader Kings 2 um, directory where you installed the game. This will always be in this location if you're using Windows, as far as I'm aware. If you do not have a mod folder underneath Crusader Kings 2, you can just create one. You can just go New, Folder, and just create one called Mod. What you want to do then is you want to grab these two files and you want to drag them over here. Once they've copied over, that's your mod installed. Next step is to load up Crusader Kings. Once you have Crusader Kings 2 open, you want to go to the Mods tab, and you should see an entry which says Faerun. If you do not see this entry, all this means is you have not moved the files to the correct location. Once you see the entry, you will want to tick the box on the right hand side, and then go to play. If you see the splash screen which you see before your eyes right now, then you have installed the mod correctly, and everything should just run from that point on. If you want to see the mod in action, a Let's Play has just gone up, where we're playing in the Sword Coast, starting from Baldur's Gate and moving up to Neverwinter. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting. All of that helps the channel grow, helps all of my series grow, and generally makes me feel like this was a worthwhile time. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!